Okay, hey guys, uh, back again. Of course, everything's still like a total mess in here. I'm, you know, just trying to work and got the saw up and going anyway, so that's nice. It's a it's a three horsepower 220. You know, it's a pretty nice saw. It, it it hums along pretty good. You know, it's a Craft X, not not a General or you know whatever, but uh, you know what? It's it's pretty good. It's good. So anyhow, uh, getting this place all rolling in. I just wanted to make a quick video about the uh, about the furnace here. Uh, as we know, we got the done the other video with the outdoor furnace. Here's the pipes coming in from the from the outside, uh, from the the wood boiler, which I will be hooking up. As I also mentioned, this water to air heat exchanger over here uh, in the sh coming days, I'm guessing. Um, but I wanted to show some people this because this is where I got messed up. Uh, I got this old furnace here. I to get, to get all this other crap out of it here, which is all the, the gas part of it and the igniters and whatever. And I'm not an HVAC guy, so, you know. But anyway, I ripped all that stuff out. But to do that, I pretty much had to take the whole thing apart and put it back together again just with the fan. And then it came to like, okay, so what do you do with all these wires? There was a mess of wires. Like I ripped out, as you can see, there's a whole bunch in hanging out there. There's more... Uh, there's more over here uh there was there was quite a few wires uh hanging out but i, I noticed this diagram here so and i know hvac guy is going to be like yeah okay sure pal i know but and then, you know for us who, who aren't uh hvac guys this was pretty helpful and once i you know went over the read that a little bit and just kind of figured out what was happening there i Got rid of the wires that I didn't need out of here, out of the control panel here, or the control board, or whatever it is, and realized that I only needed certain ones. So um, I hooked up the power over. Where, the, where is the power now? I don't know. <laughs> the power's over here somewhere. Uh, where the hell did I put that now? Oh, God. Anyway, that power. Oh, there it is there. Oh, sorry. It's hidden. It's under there. Okay, there we go. There's the power there. So we hooked up hooked up the power in here. Okay. Uh, now, remember, this is not like, you know, we have to worry. This is all low voltage. Now, once you come in from there, that's it. Everything else is low voltage. So we're not worried about nothing in here except for that. This thing here stores power, right? So um, the capacitor, I think it's called. I can't remember now, but it does store power. So you kind of want to be careful with uh, inside here. Um but yeah, so, well, you know what? I had a problem because I, I had all the wires taken out correctly, but here's where the problem was. This one here, this is out to the limit switch and back in again. And here's your limit switch on the furnace over here. Now, because it's obviously disconnected, the when I when I plugged it in and pressed the safety switch on here, as if as if the um, cover was on, um, it would go on right away. The fan would just go on. I mean, nothing connected to the circuit board at all, to the control board. I mean, and it would just go on. And I'm like, okay, what's happening? I'm like, well, I mean, obviously I can't put a thermostat on this because it's just going anyway. Well, <laughs> again, it's this. So. When you hook up, all you need is, uh, you know, just anything to do with the furnace itself. Just get rid of it. Just have the power cord and your fan speeds and you want to run it on the black one, which is which is the fast one. It's usually for air conditioning and you want to run that in um, to the R slot back over here. Okay, where it says heat. You see heat back there. You want to run the, the white, the... Um, the black one in there to the heat right back in there and uh and that so when it comes on it's going to go to heat when the thermostat's calling for heat it's going to it's going to uh go to the hook it up to the g here and that's going to that's connected to the fan and that's going to get the 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 fast one going which is the black one um so now it works if i use a jumper in to g like if I like right now it's plugged in. So if I were to if I were to use the uh sorry for them, just a terrible video, I know, I know, but I'm just trying to get a point across to someone who may not understand how to do this so that they can hook up their outdoor video outdoor uh furnace to their 
to their shop furnace, uh, outdoor wood boiler to their shop furnace. So if we press this here, okay, and then we touch these two together here, our fan will come on. There it is. You hear that? Ah. So that's R and G. That's going to R and G. Right, I'll show you here again. Oh, we gotta press the button. It's hard to press the button at the same time here. As you can see, that was R and G, right? Okay. So that's gonna be connected to the thermostat. I just ran the thermostat wire. I'm actually just using speaker wire. Speaker wire here, it's running up here and around over there underneath. I'm gonna be closing all this off with a box two by twos and some drywall and stuff. So that's not gonna be hidden anyway. And then I'm gonna run it down <coughs> and stick it on this post over here. But my my the main reason I want to make this video, I guess, is because uh I just wanted to, you know, once once you get everything out of this old furnace, you know, just get the stuff that you need on here, which is basically the black you park these are parked there's they're not doing anything these are low speed low speed medium speed there's four speeds to this fan there's there's medium high medium low low is the red and then black is the is the high speed and these are your neutral in here and then the power is in behind there the rest of them there's the massive wires and, and just get rid of them you don't need them and then once you do that remember to do this and hook up your limit switch because what happens is it, it sends a signal out, and it it's a normally closed switch over at the at the the uh, the gas part of the furnace or whatever, and it's a it's a normally open switch. So the the power is going from here, and it wants to see a continuous loop coming back to here now. And if it doesn't see that, which of course these were cut, so it, it thinks the that the, uh, the furnace is overheating. So it wants to just turn the fan on to cool it down. So once you connect these, now what it, what the fan is thinking that it's going through the limit switch, everything's good, no problem, not overheating, it's coming back in here as it should, as a normally closed loop so switch. So now it's fine. So now it's just ready to for you to tell it what to do over here, and which we're going to do with the thermostat. So uh I hope this helps some. I know it's probably not a great explanation, but I hope that that it helps somebody because I know I was having a rough time with it, uh, just getting this thing all hooked up, which is going to be hooked up next week, and I'll let you see how it goes and whatever. But uh, I hope it helps.